Doberdan. This is Josh Friedman at the beginning of a Balkan excursion. Today is September 1st, 2015, and I'll be spending the next three weeks or so traveling around the former Yugoslavia and the Western Balkans. To start off, I am in Beograd, Serbia, a very fitting place, the former capital of Yugoslavia. Behind me, you can see where the river Danube meets the Sava River, and those bridges you see in the background, I believe, were bombed in 1999. Belgrade was the last European capital to be bombed. And we'll be getting into that history and a whole lot more on this trek. We'll be exploring the breakup of Yugoslavia, trying to get a little bit of an understanding of the concept of balkanization, which by the way predates the breakup of Yugoslavia, and uh, trying to get a little bit of glimpse into what the future holds for this region, and maybe, just maybe, we will run into a few migrants along the way. That is because there is a migrant crisis right now in Europe, and it is centered in the Western Balkans, and that will provide a little bit of a backdrop to this journey. It's gonna be a fun one, and you are invited along. Dobrovecha. It's my first night here in Belgrade, and look what I found. The park, actually the parks, by the bus station are packed with refugees. There's a tent city set up. There are families here. There are little children. There's a baby sleeping in this tent right here. Over here there's a sign that says borders kill and above it it says abolish Dublin. That's referring to the EU rules on spreading out refugees among different EU countries. It's not 1999. There's no war going on here. In fact, Belgrade is now the capital of an EU candidate country. Serbia could be in the EU five years from now. Most of the people here are also on their way to the EU. This is clearly a stopping point on what is called the Western Balkan Route, where migrants from the Middle East make their journey to Europe, across the Western Balkans, and then into the EU. I too am on a journey across the Western Balkans right now, and tonight's just the beginning of it. There will be plenty more to come, and for now, good night from Belgrade.